power drive docks. What are they and what do they do? Well, they allow you to install internal hard drives very easily. But are they really worth it? Let's find out. The main purpose of a hard drive dock is to allow you to connect any 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch hard drive to your PC. This can be used for many purposes, say for example if you have a broken external hard drive, you can crack open the case, put it inside the dock and see if the hard drive is still working. Sometimes it's just the enclosures that stop working and the hard drive inside is just fine. PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 owners can easily take out their 2.5 inch drives from their consoles and plug it into the dock to back up their game saves, game data or anything like that. With this dock having the ability to have two hard drives at the same time, we can use third party software such as Acronis HD to clone hard drives. This is very useful if you're upgrading your existing PC to an SSD because that means you can just clone it all over instead of having to reinstall the operating system and re getting all your files back. At the front of the dock we can see it has support for the most popular types of memory cards such as microSD, SD and ProStick Duo. You can even plug SIM cards in there to back up your contacts, however I was a little bit disappointed to find out there's no support for compact flash. Around the top of the unit we have a couple of USB ports. This is quite useful if you want to plug in a memory stick or Bluetooth adapter, very convenient. Back to the front of the unit, a phone press is required to turn the unit on or off so you don't accidentally press the button. At the centre middle of the unit there's also a copy button which will copy all the data from the master hard drive to the slave hard drive. Moving on to the back of the unit, we have our power connection, USB and eSATA ports. However, if you are copying over a lot of data, I would recommend to use the eSATA as you will get more faster transfer speeds. Now that we've gone over the basic functions of this unit, let's test it. Let's see what the read and write speeds are like. So for my testing methodology, I'm just going to plug one hard drive into there, use Crystal Benchmark and see what the difference in the read write speeds are for the USB and eSATA connections. As we can see from the results via the USB connection, the read write speeds are quite slow, however when we do use the eSATA connection we do notice an improvement. If you are copying over a load of files then I would definitely recommend the eSATA connection. In conclusion, it's a good product with a lot of features, however the read write speeds are a bit too slow for me, so I think I will be upgrading in the future. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to see more and I'll see you again. Today I'll be talking about the Sonos Play 1 and with my experience of this speaker being one of the best and worst speakers at the same time. To install the CPU all you have to simply do is lift up the lever, pull it up, insert the CPU, pull it back down and when you press back down on the lever it should pop off the dust cap for the CPU socket.